Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. This is the O'Neill Airport. As you know it, as you love it. This is the airfield that you launch from with its lovely uh, taxiway and runway. And over there is a train depot. And I don't know if there's any roads leading out of this place. I don't see anything. Oh, there's a road right over here. So what we're going to do today is we're going to transform this completely by using the new NSO modification by Tony from the SMF. Um, all the links will be in the description. But I'm going to show you how to install it and uninstall it, okay? And it's pretty easy. And what it's going to do is going to transform a lot of this northern part with train tracks and new houses and even some new land masses. But I want you to look at O'Neill Airfield right now, how it looks, what it looks like, because in a second, we are going to transform it. Okay, are you ready? Let me show you. Ta-da! This is O'Neill Airfield with uh, the NSO mod. And as you can see, there is a lot of things going on here that are different. We have a runway. We've got some arrows over there. Uh, we got the taxiway with lines. We have a heliport or a helipad. We have two new uh, hangars. We have the, what do you call this thing? The control tower. And we have a train track that comes all the way in here. And so if you want to learn more about what this mod changes, go ahead and click the video that is on the top right. And you can see all the details. But this video is concerned with showing you how to install this and how to uninstall it. And this changes a lot. This is just the airfield. So watch the other video if you want to see what it looks like and watch this video if you want to know how to install and uninstall the NSO mod. So let's get to installing. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the NSO North Sawyer Overhaul Project. The link is in the description below, but it is on Nexus Mods. This is what the page looks like. And you're going to want to go over to Download and Manual. And you're going to click that. And of course, it is going to download the file. Okay. So once you have your file, which I do right here, we're gonna cut this file and we are going to move it to our Stormworks directory in Steam. So your Stormworks directory is gonna be wherever you placed it on your hard drive. It's gonna be in the Steam library, Steam apps common and Stormworks, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and paste this file here. All right, so once we have the file moved into the Stormworks directory, you can see we have ROM and system. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is back up your ROM directory. I always like to do this just so I can uninstall and install easier. So as you can see, I have a zip file named ROM and this is that directory zipped up. That means that if I want to uninstall the NSO, I just delete my directory like this, just delete it, boom. The ROM directory will be deleted and I can go ahead and just say, okay, extract my ROM zip file. And now I am going to be back to the default Stormworks files, okay? Now you will have to back up, of course, this directory if there is a patch to Stormworks because things change. So for right now, this is just an easy way for me to do it. I like zip files, so there we go. So what I wanna do now is take the NSO and extract it. So we can extract it to the directory that it is in. Okay, and next thing you're gonna see is inside that directory is another ROM file. So we can go ahead and cut this, right click cut, go back to the main directory where the ROM is sitting, right click paste, and it will say, do you wanna overwrite some of these files? And we say, yes, replace those files. Now it's just replacing um, mesh files and landmass data, all that stuff. That's all it's doing. It's not doing anything else. And if we want to go back, of course, I could just delete this ROM directory and, you know, extract my ROM again. But we're not going to do that right now. I just want to show you how to do this. Okay, so what it did, if we come in here, it replaced these files. And you see the NSO mod is right there. So now with that done, we have got it installed. So let's load up Stormworks. All right, so Stormworks is loading. I'm going to go ahead and create a new game. Always good to do that anyways. Go back to the O'Neill Airfield. I'm going to uninstall all that stuff because we don't want that. Because I don't like it. It lags the game. Um, but what we're going to do is come into Stormworks and I'll show you just briefly, you know, a little bit of a preview. Again, you want to go to the video 
that I'm linking to in the top right and in the description maybe? Yeah, why not? And of course at the end of this video if you want to see a tour of all the changes. But we're just going to go ahead and jump in after Stormworks decides to load because it takes forever. Okay, we're in. I think we're in. So here is the very rainy, of course it's rainy. It's always raining in Stormworks. The very rainy O'Neill Airfield, as you can see. All right, and if we come, which way is north? Is this north? I'm gonna get lost, aren't I? Let's just follow the train tracks. If you wanna see just a quick tour, there are um, train tracks that lead back to the North Harbor, I believe. And the North Harbor, here we come over here, has been changed. There's now a little town over here and uh, train tracks go over there. There's train tracks that go onto the land and you can actually drive all over there and uh, check out that. There's tunnels, there's new land, there's so much. I'm not gonna tell you in this video, this is just an uninstall, install video, okay? So I just wanna show you that, okay? So very cool and it is installed. Now how do you uninstall this? Pretend like you hate this. You don't like all this cool new land mass features out and you hurt yourself. How do you uninstall? Well, let's go do that. So there are basically two ways to uninstall this. I just like to delete my, you know, my mod directories and my ROM directory. And it takes a second. And since I backed up the files, I can just go ahead and extract the ROM, like I showed you before. This is it. I'm uninstalling the NSO mod. Okay? Nothing to it. Not scary. All right? Boom. Stormworks is now back to its old boring landmass. Okay? So the other way to do it is if you go back to your library, right-click on Stormworks, Properties, this screen will pop up. And what you will see here is we can do local files, verify the integrity of the game files. And if you run that, and I don't want to run it because it's going to overwrite my workbench, but if you do it, it will um, download all the original Stormworks files and make sure that you have only the Stormworks files. You can do it that way. I think that uh, backing up your ROM folder and unzipping it is a lot easier, but you do you. Okay, so just to recap, what we did is we first backed up our ROM file, we installed the NSO mod, we then played with it a bit, we got bored, and then deleted the ROM directory, and then we unzipped our original ROM directory. Now, just in case we want to make a new game, because what can happen is if you've built stuff on that mod if you've built like structures and stuff like that they may be in the game still and so what we want to do is we want a nice clean world all right so this is a new world and as you can see everything is back to its boring status this was just a quick uninstall and install video and uh, if you want to see the full tour of the island click right there on the left video that you see on your screen now and you can see a tour with the creator tony and if you want to experiment with this yourself, go ahead and use the links below to download the mod and install it uninstall it. If you have any questions, go ahead and use the Discord links below to get to the SMF, the Stormworks Modding Forum. And you can reach Tony if you have any direct questions or if you'd like to start modding the world yourself. That's a good way to do it too. Uh, lots of resources there. So that is it for today. Go ahead, check out the tour and see if it's something you want to experiment with. And I will see you next time.